morning. My name is Dr. Akash from MLR Medical College and Hospital. Uh, my topic for paper presentation is role of EMR fistulogram in preoperative assessment of anorectal fistulas and surgical coordination. Background and overview, anorectal fistulas are a group of pathological conditions affecting thermal part of GIT and perineum. The dentate line of anal canal consists of anal glands in the anal crypts. Anal canal is surrounded by the internal and the etiology of fistulas is obstruction of anal glands. Uh, the anorectal fistulas can be following types like interspintaric, transpintaric, extraspintaric, or supraspintaric. Magnetic resonance imaging plays a key role in preoperative assessment and helps in recognition of fistula strides, secondary infections, and relationship of fistula with the anal sphincter complex. Aims and objectives to assess the role of MR fistulogram in preoperative assessment of anorectal fistulas. To point out the fistula strikes, internal openings, and the relationship of perianal fistulas with the anal sphincter complex. To recognize the secondary tracts and uh, other complications like abscesses, and to create the fistulas as per St. James University Hospital classification. To correlate MR findings with intraoperative findings. Methodology. Uh, study design is a cross section of study design. Uh, study place, Department of Radiology, collaboration with. Uh, Department of General Surgery, MLR Medical College, inclusion criteria, all patients with primary anorectal fistulae attending Department of Radiology Diagnosis, MLR Medical College, patients clinically diagnosed as having perianal fistulae referred for MR imaging by the surgery department, mm. inclusion criteria, patients with aneurysmal clips or intraorbital fragments and electrically, magnetically or mechanically activated implants, including cardiac pacemakers, biostimulators, neurostimulators, cochlear implants, and hearing aids within the body and other contraindications of MRI imaging to be excluded, patients with claustrophobia, post-operative patients, and pregnant patients are also excluded. Um, St. James University Hospital classification, uh, grade A, uh, diagram A showing interspindaric fistula and diagram B showing inter interspindaric fistula with horseshoe extension. Diagram 3 that is C showing interspindaric fistula with interspindaric abscess. Uh, B shows transpindaric fistula and uh, E transpindaric fistula with ischioanal abscess that is here. And grade five is uh, supra elevator extension. This is the this is the diagram uh, MRI images of um, patient one coronal T two images showing supra splinteric fistula that is grade five. Here is a supra splinteric fistula, and here is a uh, external opening. This is a patient two axial T2 and steel images showing transmitteric fistula. Here is a fistula strap opening outside. And patient three showing the coronal T2 images, which is a interspinteric fistula that is grade one. And here is a fistula strap. It is an external opening. Results, demographic characteristics. Age less than 30 years, 31 year, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 51 to 60, more than 60 years is taken into account. Total number of patients is given 7, 20, 19, 8, and 6 respectively. Uh, 6 of the patients, male patients are 39 and female are 21. Um, external openings, number of patients and percentage. Single external opening showing uh, is seen in 50 patients, that is uh, approximately 86.67 percentage, and multiple external openings is seen in 8 patients. Seen in 51, uh, single internal opening is seen in 51 patients, multiple internal openings are seen in 6 patients, and others include 3. Secondary tracks uh, number. Uh, in 16 patients and absent in 44 patients. Number of patients uh, with secondary tracts based on surgical findings are 20 and uh, 
absent are 40. MRI surgery concordance is 80% uh, sensitivity and 100% specificity. Uh, Same James, grade classification, university classification. Uh, grade 1 uh, uh, fistula. Grade 1 fistulas uh, has approximately 20 patients and grade 2 in ceiling 11 patients. Grade 4 seeing 8 patients, grade 5 seeing 5 patients. St. James grade with uh, according to age distribution that is less than 30 years, 31 to 40, 41 to 50, 51 to 60, and more than 60 years. Grade 1 is seen in 3, 4, 8, 3, 2 of uh, age respectively, and grade 2 is seen in 0, 6. 2, 1, 2, grade 3 is seen in 4, 3, 7, 1, 1, grade 4 is seen in 0, 6, 1, 1, 0, grade 5 is seen in 0, 1, 1. St. James grade according to the uh, and uh, sex distribution of uh, patients, grade 1 is seen in 13 males and 7 females, grade 2 is seen in 5 males and 6 females, grade 3 is seen in 12 males and 4 females, grade 4, four is seen in 5 males, grade 5 is seen in 4 males and 1 female. Um, St. James grade and number of patients, surgical correlation, uh, in grade 1 approximately 20 grade 1 fish class and surgical correlation is 100%. Grade 2 has a, a seen in 11 patients. Uh, surgical correlation is also 100% here. Grade 3 is seen in 6 patients and surgical correlation is 99%. Grade 4 is seen in 8 patients which is seen in 100% patients. Grade 5 is seen in 5 patients which is seen in 99% patients. Um, St. James grade category number of graded patients graded as per MRI, number of patients with concordant surgical findings, number of patients not operated, and MRI surgical con concordance. And the grade 1 is seen in 20 patients uh, graded as per MRI, and uh, surgical findings are 15. Four patients preoperatively categorized as grade 2. Mm -hmm. Number of patients not operated is 1. MRI and surgical concordance, sensitivity is 100%, specificity 91.66%. Grade 2 shows uh, seen in 11 patients as per MRI grading, and uh, surgical concordance findings are seen in 11 patients, and uh, number of patients not, not operated is 0. Sensitivity and specificity both are 100% here. Grade 3 is seen in 16%, uh, 16 patients. Uh, number of uh, Patients with the concordant surgical findings are 15. Number of patients not operated as one. Uh, surgical MRI concordance is a sensitivity and specificity of 100%. Grade 4 seen in 8 patients as per MRI findings and surgical concordance are uh, 8 and uh, sensitivity and specificity is 100%. Grade 5, number of patients as per MRI grading is 5 and number of patients with surgical findings are 4. One patient is not operated and sensitivity and specificity is 100% here. Correlation between the MRI uh, findings and surgical findings was significant in the study with a p-value of 0 0.008. Discussion, a total of 60 patients who were referred for MR fistulogram to MNR Medical College in hospital. They were followed up to surgery and the operative findings were correlated with the preoperative MRI findings. 60 patients included in the study, 39 patients were male, that is 65%, and 29 patients were female, that is 35%. Among the 60 patients included in the study group, the most prevalent type of fistula was interspinteric type followed by transpinteric type. In our study, when the fistulous tracts were analyzed, majority of the patients, that is 52 out of 60, had a C. When analyzing, when analyzing the internal opening, uh, it was single in majority of patients, and the operative findings were well correlated with the study with regard to the site of opening.
study Periyal and Fishlas are classified on the basis of St. James University Hospital classification. This revealed that grade 1 fistulas were commonest, which was found in 20 patients. The second most common type is grade 3 fistulas, which was found in 16 patients. Among both males and females, intersplinteric fistulas, that is grade 1, are commonest, followed by transplinteric type, that is grade 3. In our study, it was observed that intersplinteric and transplinteric fistulas are common in the age group of 30 to 50 years. Extrasplinteric fistulas, secondary to other etiologies, are common in age group above 40. Study 16 out of 60 patients had secondary tracts. In our study, abscesses were identified in 11 out of 60 patients. Conclusions Perianal fistula, though an uncommon problem, may be chronic and recurrent, it may present with numerous complications like secondary tracts and abscess cavities. Incomplete evaluation of these complications can result in residual and recurrent disease. So, complete preoperative evaluation of perianal fistulas is warranted also to prevent the injury to external animal sputter and resultant fecal incontinence. It is necessary to establish the relationship of splinter with the fistula tracts. Yamane satisfies all these needs of surgeons and helps in planning of surgery. MRI provides minor anatomic details of fistula and also identifies secondary tracts and abscesses. Correct identification of perianal fistulae and proper grading of fistula are necessary for ensuring optimum surgical outcome. The references. <coughs> thank you. Thank you for providing this opportunity.